Hey guys, James and 532 here. Um, today, we're going to be taking a look at Percy the Small Engine. So, you may notice if I bring in Thomas the Tank Engine over here, Percy is tiny, um, lengthwise. You can see he doesn't even come up to Thomas' smoke box. So, let me explain how I did that. The chassis, let me get out of here. Um, the chassis was just two truck wheels wrapped in soft cardboard glued to a block of styrofoam board, foam board. Yeah, and then he rolls and everything too. See, what was it going to show you? Yeah, it's going to show you, see? He rolls and everything too. Which, Percy was originally going to have, let's see if I can find it here, you... As you may know, most of these custom showcases are not scripted whatsoever. It's going to have a chassis like this. In fact, at one point, I did make a Percy with this kind of chassis on it. But now, this is going to a different custom that you'll probably see. So, yeah. Um, Percy. Right. Um, he's made out of cardboard. From the foam board up, it's cardboard. Cool, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I started with his cab, which is probably very self-explanatory. I cut out all the shapes I needed, glued them together, and then glued it on. Very simple. Um, the boiler or the tanks was just um, toilet paper roll wrapped together on itself. Cut the size. Um. Originally, most of the time, I like my Percy's to have, jeez, this sounds a very weird sentence, but I like my Percy's to have large tanks that come down and like, it's just straight lines out and up and over, but I've been trying that for so long, I don't think I can achieve it quite yet, so I just went with the caterpillar look, small, swashed, curves under. Something similar to the TV series. But, yeah. So, I'm actually quite okay with this, too. Um, his domes were just clay. Glued on. His whistle was just a toothpick. These little boxes he has was just more foam board. His foot plate, I don't know why I didn't mention the foot plate first, was made out of cardboard. Just straight. Cut out the shapes on the side. But, yeah. Originally, Percy wasn't going to have buffers for whatever reason. Don't ask me why. He doesn't even have a coupling, for Christ's sake. But, um, I decided to give him, instead of the basic round buffers, since Percy is most often shunting, spends probably more time shunting than he does pulling trains, I gave him big block Harvey Pug-style buffers. That thing suits him, because they do come up off of the foot plate a little bit and the bottom too yeah on the front and back they definitely look better on the back because of the coupling there um then basically I just weathered him oh the smoke box was the only original plastic piece from another Trekmaster 2 Percy I know why you taking that Percy and putting it on this Percy why I have not a clue but either way it looks good. So, I don't care. Um, then I just went about painting him. Originally, I spray painted him. And he came out looking funny. A lighter green with kind of weird webbing in it. I think that's because of the, um, the kind of paint I used on him. That just didn't work well with tape. So, I just kind of, you know, didn't do that. And gave him the same shade of green as Henry. Shamrock green from NT Mills Acrylic. Sorry, I had to look at that. And his funnel was just a straw. The top part of the funnel was the top part of the original smoke box funnel. Um, his face is just a circle of cardboard cut out with a sheet of paper with the Percy face over it. Drawn by me. Um, then once he was all painted and stuff, I weathered him with just dry brushing black all over him. Really 
dirty. I wanted to make him dirty, Percy. As weird as that sounds. He's probably the dirtiest model I own. Just because, like, I, I didn't put Mod Podge on him or anything. He's one of the dirtier engines I've made. There we go. Um, I did, I did originally want to give him moving side rods, but I found that to be really challenging. So I just did this. Which I think arguably looks better, because it's kind of like... It's kind of like Henry, where he has the slide bars. But the actual... There is no actual more moving. He has the slide bars, but there is actual more to it than just those and but they don't move which is kind of unfortunate if i ever do figure out a way to make percy's side rods move like that you can bet a custom showcase on it is coming soon but um yeah that's percy the small engine there's really not much to say about him he was a very easy build as i only needed to build him once while a few of the other engines took a few tries so yeah, this has been Percy the Small Engine. That's all I really have to say. So I guess I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.